Blood suddenly flowed from the nail holes in the wall, and the woman reached out to see if it was human blood, only to see two white arms reaching out from the wall. One grabbed her, the woman struggled in vain, then she was put into a small room, surrounded by a constant flow of cement. The woman's body was gradually submerged, unable to move at all. As the cement spread to her neck, she felt a strong sensation of suffocation. Man was startled awake, but fortunately, it was only a dream. When she got up and saw her friend John, who had come to visit, Man told him about her observations, and the two began to explore the interior of the building. They stumble upon a secret vertical passage that looks into the bathrooms of many rooms, which are hung with one-way mirrors for easy peeking. Showing how sick the designers of the building were, Man learns from the news that year, that 16 bodies were exhumed from the walls of the building, including Pharaoh's father and the designer. At night, Man is in her room with her boyfriend, unaware that Pharaoh is eavesdropping from within the walls. 